Okay. <laughs> Do you need help? No. Are you sure? But that's why I asked you. <laughs> okay. We're gonna leave that bed skirt on, right? You okay? You okay? Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are resetting this room. I am going to be cleaning out all the drawers to this room and doing so much. I'm sweeping and mopping and just trying to get this room where it needs to be. We're doing a whole reset. We're even getting a new mattress. We're very excited about it. We haven't had a mattress in a couple of years and we just need a new one. This one is just, it needs to go already. We still are going to keep our box spring because we like our bed a little bit higher, but it's all up to you guys um, how you like your bed, but we definitely love our bed higher. And this design actually allows you to have a box spring and a mattress. So that's a good thing right here. Like I said, I am just sweeping behind this bed and I'm going to mop. So that way, when we put the mattresses back down, everything will be nice and clean behind the bed. We had so much dirt behind there. You never know how much dirt gets piled up in your house. And I'm pretty sure that is because of the dog. She always goes underneath the bed or she just, <laughs> she's always making a mess somewhere. So right here, I am just sweeping everything and I'm going to pass a quick little mop. Right here, we were laughing and just hanging out because Goodell was helping me move all the furniture around. And we were laughing because he's like, how are you going to go and mop? You mop so weird. And it's so true, <laughs> you guys. I should have mopped from one side to the other. So I didn't have to go through all that trouble, but I didn't. And here we are. We are learning homemaking, okay? This isn't a... <laughs> this is something that you have to learn. <laughs> it doesn't come naturally. So right here, we are just dropping this box spring down once again. And I wish I could have taken that cover off. I don't know why I didn't take that cover off so I can wash it. But it would have been a whole lot better just to have a reset. But we will do that in our next, um, next time that we clean this room and reset it. And I was going to do another bed skirt, like a different color, but this one was brand new. We just put it on probably like a month ago, two months ago when I had bought the new bed sheets and stuff. And I really don't like washing bed skirts, you guys. I normally just buy them all over again because when I wash them, they tend to rip. If you guys know of any way that we can wash bed skirts and not have them rip, please let me know. So we're going to get this put up here and this is a 14 inch um king we're very excited to be uh, having a new mattress because this one was just already giving us a whole bunch of problems we needed a new mattress so bad it may look nice and it may look clean and all that stuff but it was already losing its shape we've had it for about i would say four or five years um so it's been used a lot. <laughs> it's heavy. You need to get the huh? head. No. Oh, yeah. Is it heavy? Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, look, it comes with the thing to cut it. So you don't have to use a knife. Hmm? You don't have to use a knife. It comes with a thing to cut it. Yeah? Yeah, look. I'm going to show you. That's pretty cool. Okay. But don't we have to put it up here? Right, to cut it? So we don't have to cut I'll it cut on it the right there. <laughs> Go ahead. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Okay. Because right before, remember, with that one, we used the knife. But that's so cool that it brings the actual thing. Are you going to cut it on the floor? Mm -mm. Well, no, baby, it's so heavy. All right, you guys, so this mattress is the Mobley Dream Inner Spring Hybrid Mattress, and it's fiberglass free. We got the King in 14 inch, and y'all, we let it raise for 72 hours. We actually allowed it to rise up and do what it had to do, and we had to test it out, though, <laughs> honestly. As soon as we broke the plastic, it completely came out. And it's so bomb. And right now, they're having, like, a New Year's Eve sale. So, like, the King 14-inch was about, I think, like, 500 and something dollars. Don't quote me. But I will leave all the links down below if you want to check out uh, Mobley and get your own mattress but y'all they're super affordable and so so bomb so we allowed it to rise for 72 hours and it was the best decision to choose this mattress they also have a lifetime warranty and just the mattress is like just oh my god you guys gotta go check it out i will leave the links down below for you guys i'm just going in right here and cleaning this dresser i'm also going to be cleaning yadel's dresser because i don't know what it is with men they just go and grab things and just throw it in the dressers and it's just i i just don't get it but uh that is what i'm doing here and i'm just going to pass the vacuum in these dressers i'm also going to be sweeping and mopping and doing all that good stuff and getting this room like i said resetting it and getting it where it needs to be so that way we can have a clean and fresh room for the new year
so right here i am just passing the vacuum and a lot of you guys asked where i got this vacuum from this is from amazon i believe and it's just a handheld vacuum it's the one that you can actually vacuum the floor with but it comes with a whole bunch of different attachments that you can make them into an actual vacuum so right here i am just putting everything back where it needs to be all my jeans and stuff and doing all that good stuff i normally <laughs> clean with like sweats on and stuff because they stay up my jeans are always either falling down or i just need a belt and i don't have a belt i haven't been able to find a good belt that will go with everything because i'm the type of person i need something that goes with everything because i'm not gonna buy one of each thing it's just not gonna happen like i said most of my clothes are from the goodwill and well not just goodwill like the goodwill thrift stores um thrift stores around here just stores that are a lot cheaper target i like target as well i buy target jeans those are the target jeans i like target's jeans because they're the they're the most comfortable for me and when i was younger i used to love like ripped jeans and things like that and i've grown to want to be a little bit more modest not modest but more of yeah i wouldn't say modest because i'm not like oh my god you can't whatever but i'm more like i want to dress my age <laughs> and i just feel like ripped jeans and things like that and i do i still have like maybe jeans ripped at the knee and things like that but yeah my clothing has tend to change as i've gotten older and i'm okay with it i I haven't you know i just I'm, I'm changing as my age changes and things around me change So normally while I'm cleaning and organizing or like cooking, I will throw on some YouTube just to get me through the time and it just feels like I'm hanging out with somebody. <laughs> so it's a lot better when you're doing something and watching something that you like. So that's what I'm doing here and I'm going to go in and put all the clothes that um, your dad will be taking to Cuba with him so we're just uh putting it well i'm just putting it inside of this suitcase so that way when he gets ready to take another vacation over there he can go through that and see what he wants to take and what he doesn't want to take um but most of that clothes and stuff are new so most of it he will be taking i'm sure and then the other pile will be for donating and then I have another pile that is just regular garbage like clothes that have like holes in them or like us painting and DIYing the house so I'm just doing that so right here I am going to be cleaning the windowsill and I try to do this every couple of months because it does get gunky and just gross and we have a lot of flies like I said we live on a farm so flies are just here and Sometimes they get trapped in the house so there was like a fly in the corner right there and stuff so I try to keep this windowsill as clean as possible and the blinds as well. I also try to wash our curtains every couple of months and stuff because they build up a lot of dust. I did recently wash them so I'm not going to be washing them in this video but maybe in the next videos I will be doing that. I also found that when I do wash them, some of them do tend to break. So I'm always buying curtains and sometimes I don't have a pair. Sometimes one will break and then the other one will be perfectly fine, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. Maybe I should get like cotton ones or I seen a little hack 
on Pinterest about a painting canvas, you know, the ones that go thrown on the floor for when you paint so you don't get paint on your floor. I seen a little hack with that, but I don't know if it works or not, so <laughs> I might not try it. And right here, I'm just wiping down all the dressers and making sure all the dressers are nice and clean. They do have like hand prints and stuff, and I'm going to be wiping down everything that's on this dresser because everything's so dusty and just ugh from leaving it months and months without dusting it or anything. So that is what I'm doing right here. Now I'm just going in and I'm sweeping behind the dressers. I did sweep behind mine and then um, I'm going to be moving this big dresser. I think I actually moved it already. If I haven't, I will be moving it in the next couple of clips and sweeping behind there because I haven't swept behind there in a little minute. And y'all, sometimes it will build up like just clothes and stuff from like things falling behind there. So I'm glad that I was able to move that and get that nice and cleaned up. And I will also be passing a mop and vacuuming the bed. When I mean vacuum, I'm just going to pass that vacuum cleaner because it leaves like a little scent. It has like little scent pods inside of it and it's so good. So I did decide to go in with that vacuum cleaner just because it sat for 72 hours for it to rise and then it was in packaging and things like that. So I kind of want it to smell good when we go to lay down and I also washed our sheets. I don't wash the pillowcases. I wash them probably like every like once a month because we actually don't use the pillows that are decorative for the bed. We have our own pillows that we use and I only do it like that because sometimes the pillows will after a while get smushed and things like that and I have to buy it all over again and I tend to not want to do that. So we just leave those pillows where they're at. Those are the decorative pillows and then we have our separate pillows. So I just passed a quick little vacuum. I did wash these sheets and putting them on now. These are the ones that I got from Walmart. You guys are always asking me where I got them from and they are from Walmart, you guys. We paid, I think like 70 something dollars for the whole set. It came like with eight pieces and it is so beautiful. I love Walmart's like bedding section. They're super affordable and <laughs> beautiful they had all types of different colors like with this scheme so it was really nice you should go check it out and then i washed the comforter as well sometimes i like to hang the comforter outside but it's been raining so i had to actually dry it and that is just what i'm doing here and this bed you guys kid you not this mattress is so bomb we like every time we go in the room we like sit on it or like lay on it it's like it has this like memory foam and it's so so good and like i just can't wait to just lay in it and just relax <laughs> and stuff like we've taken a nap already on it and it's just so so good um but yeah I, like i said i will leave the links down below to this mattress if you guys want to check it out and purchase one for yourself like i said they're super affordable the last mattress we had was fairly pricey but this one was pretty good so this is the ending of the video and i hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today and just cleaning and trying to get life in order um and we will see you guys in our next video
want you close Maybe hold your hand a little while Somehow I know You're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own We ride around in style Sleeves rolled up, glasses on And then you make that smile And my heart starts racing When I'm with you Oh. 